I want to ask you a question. Are there men in Abuja? Are there men in Lagos? Are there men in Nigeria? Are there men in UK? In America? Everywhere? Including your village? Are there strategic men in Abuja? Are there strategic men in Nigeria? If God is the God of portions, your portion has been distributed. Listen. Listen to me. I want you to believe this. God is a God of portions. He said the increase of the field is for all. And that even the king is fed. You can explain your wealth. Even if the world's economy, they may not understand it. Wealth is not, a, it's not magic. It comes from men. If I become a billion naira richer, a billion dollars richer, it came from men. The question is, if you get it by pointing a gun, you are a thief. It is still men you got it from. Every arm robber got his money from men. The only thing is that he did, that relationship was not profitable because he pointed a gun at their head to collect it. Whether you are a thief, whether you are an entrepreneur, whether you are, God forbid, an occultist, is still men that the resources will come from. It is how it is gotten that glorifies God or otherwise. Men. In all you're getting, if you ignore men, don't pursue contracts and ignore men. You are making a mistake. Because the person approving the contract is a man. What you need to pray for is say, Lord, give me wisdom. Give me favor. Favor enough to make anyone, including Cyrus, to want me. How many of you know that wealthy people also have a need? And everybody's need is his point of contact. The rate at which we chase people for money, God never have told you, wealth is not something you pursue. You attract it by who you are becoming. The excellency of the wisdom of God at work in your life. If I prosper today, it's not because I'm a preacher. No. If I prosper today, it's because I have received by mercy, wisdom and favor that is applicable to enough men and those men can gravitate towards me and in honor to that wisdom, whether sold or dispensed freely, they will honor it. And if those men are sufficient enough I will not beg for bread. Are we together? Listen to what I'm telling you. God and men are the two secrets I've given you today. God and men, not just products and services. Respect whoever taught you what they taught you. But ask the person whether he's rich first. God and men are the greatest secrets I know to wealth. God and men give value to products and services. Give value to businesses and estates, whatever it is. God and men are the secrets if I was solving all my discussion as a mathematical problem, at the end of all of that, I will remove all the variables. And the only two that will be left is God and man. The heaven of heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth has he given to the children of men. Every other variable is almost inconsequential. If God says no and men say no, carry your products places, you will still be poor. But if God says yes, he will put something in you that will force men to say yes. The greatest secret I know, the greatest secret to wealth are strategic relationships. But it does not come by chasing people. We used to call it those days friend for food. People who just look for a rich person and inconvenience them. It doesn't work that way. You attract strategic people by displaying the excellency of the wisdom of God. Are we together? 
and that includes those you know we we say it a lot in church that the wealth of the wicked is laid for the righteous it will not happen just by you folding your arms god will give you wisdom wisdom that dumbfounds principalities and powers wisdom that is needed even in the babylonian camp they will search for men with that kind of wisdom and not find it and they will come to you to entreat your favor and when they come to you like naaman they will not come empty if elisha was hungry he would have collected the gift from naaman Elisha said, no, 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 you go. Look at what Elisha told the woman in Shunem. He said, what should I do? Should I talk to the king for you? I can talk to the king. King, attend to a woman here. And if you say, prophet, I ignore you. You will see what the wisdom of God can do. She will also hear by this time tomorrow. And that king will leave that place quietly. Are we together? This explains the wealth of many in the kingdom. I'm saying it again. If your wealth is by crook, by bribery and corruption, it will not fit this equation. But if it is with the dignity of kingdom integrity, don't tell me it did not start with God. Wealth does not start with ideas. Kingdom wealth does not start with ideas. Business people, I respect all that you have learned, but I submit to you with your, by the authority of scripture, Wealth does not even start with business. It does not start with investments. Wealth starts with your relationship with God. From that relationship comes the wisdom and the favor. It can translate to quality investments. The investment will come as an advice from a man. The invest, whatever you are doing, it is still men. You just carry this equation and go and work wonders with it. God and men. God and men. They will give value to ideas. God and men will give value to estates. God and men. Someone God can give you a wisdom now to build an estate. And before you finish, a strategic man will come and say, my company wants to put in 50 people. And you just build the estates. You already have occupants. That one is not an idea. It's favor that has come from men. Men. Let me remind you again before we begin to pray. You are as wealthy as the men who open their hands towards you. Either they open their hands to transact with you. When you call someone a contractor, who is a contractor? A contractor is not just one who builds roads or supplies. A contractor is one who needs favor with men first. Your tractor will remain there until men give you access. Am I right on that? So Satan has suggested various ways of attracting men. Bribery, corruption, going to the harbor list, all of these are unnecessary. God's superior way is to stay with him and he will grant you wisdom. The wisdom will direct you on what to do. The wisdom will direct you on how to relate with those men well. I've taught you relationships. You can be in the place of prayer with God and God can tell you, buy a pack of wine, go and greet this man. That is the wisdom for your next level. It may not be applicable to everybody, but it came in the place of prayer. Just when you are going to greet the man, that's when your destiny helper just came to see the man too. And they'll say, aha, this is the man that I told you. This man can build. And the man will look at you and say, I don't know what is... Can you take a contract of 10 billion? Will you be able to do it? Take 5 billion to mobilize you first. And someone will see you and say, no, this guy must have gone somewhere. The person is right. You went somewhere, truly. Listen, let me challenge all business people and contractors here. Trust me, if you are part of this vision, I'm showing you how to be wealthy. Leave all those contract papers in one minute and take a day or two. Stop chasing around people. People insult you, you still say, yes, sir. No. Go with God. Place something upon my head, oh God. Place something upon my business. Place something upon my construction company. Bring honor to my becoming. Let me not become as a slave and owe everybody thank you. Someone sees you tomorrow, even in your height, he still wants to kick you like a football and says, I made you, oh. Uh -uh. Abraham said, Let it not be that anyone will say, I made Abraham rich. 
all blessings come from God but through men. Don't allow any man to tell you he's the one who made you. That's absolute nonsense. But that is the consequence of making men become God. Men are in the success equation, but it starts with God. The formula is in the beginning, God. Is someone ready to pray in the spirit? Go ahead and pray in the spirit for one minute. Before I speak, I release these prophetic words over you. Ah, don't waste this dream. Don't waste this dream. It has come as a prophetic guide for us. Seasons of abundance. A season of abundance by the power of the Holy Spirit. Abundance of grace. Abundance of resources, riches and wealth, empowerment and supplies for the sake of the kingdom, for the sake of God's program, for the sake of your dignity. Someone pray. Take a minute to pray. A lot of people have been thinking about the wealth of Apostle Joshua Selman. And in this video, Apostle Joshua Selman has exposed the source of his wealth, the secret, everything behind his wealth. If you want to be wealthy like Apostle Joshua Selman, do well to apply this strategy and God will bless you. Thank you for always visiting Words of Wisdom. For more videos like this, do not forget to subscribe and also share this video with all your friends. See you in our next video. God bless you.